Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Dirk Chekluk, who is the CEO of Roda and Schwartz IPOC. Can I welcome you to the studio? Uh, thanks for having me here. So uh, I'm looking really forward to this great event. Great. Now, look, I wanted to start off by talking about smart digital development, which is a key uh, phrase that's uh, being banded about here. I wanted to find out what does smart digital development mean to you and how is Rode and Schwartz working towards it? Yeah, I think a smart uh, development is really you have to define the target. So, for example, if you want to aim for 5G, it not necessarily has to do that you have to go from 3G to 4G. And how we are helping here out our customers, which are regulators as well as our telecom service providers, is really to show them which capabilities they need to build up a high quality service for their customers. And in terms of uh, innovation, what single innovation or innovative uh, uh, technology, product, strategy or policy do you think is most uh, transformative? Uh, I will say uh, the artificial intelligence or machine learning uh, with all the gathering of the big data things. So we are getting more and more data out of the network and we can really predict what we can, uh, how we can help the customers uh, to provide a good service. I think that's the key changing thing in the future and this will develop soon. In terms of uh, opportunities, what are the biggest opportunities uh, of 5G in particular in Africa? Uh, I will say 5G, for example, it's a good target system because it's based on 4G technology-wise. Uh, I think uh, if you arrive here in South Africa, for example, you have a lot of 3G networks, so they have to be upgraded anyway. So why you have to wait for 4G, then then goes directly to, to 5G, uh, release enough budgets for this, because uh, then there's a big change between 3G and 5G. You need the experience, and you have to educate the people, uh, and then... Uh, I think, uh, especially in Africa, uh, you need all the infrastructure. So the backbone networks, uh, they are out of the 3G days, not with uh, sufficient data rates. So uh, that's, especially here in Africa, probably the biggest challenge. And uh, the challenges in particular for cybersecurity and digital resilience? Uh, I will say cyber security plays a bigger and bigger role. Uh, you can read in the newspaper every day uh, next issue that's popping up, WannaCry and so on. So you have to think about end-to-end -end encryption and as well as uh, how uh, government can state this by not obscuring their own our uh, task uh, with the security authority. So uh, I think in, in a nutshell um, that that will help quite a lot uh, to do so. Finally, what's the value for you of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Uh, I think uh, that shows us that we are a global village uh, that brings people together, different opinions. Uh, you can exchange ideas, uh, you see a lot of your customers, which, which quite helps, and uh, really uh, the ITU did a great job in bringing the people together. Thank you very much, Thanks a lot for having me. Thank you.